I don't know. This is a bunch of crazy guys over here. Yeah, you it's a can little kind of, of, of jester. Uh, his uh, it's a little jester and uh, well, you whatever. can hear his uh, improv skills that are like not quite at the level of some <laughs> others when he's using the voice because he's trying to come up with phrases that make sense, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, he does a fine job with all this, you know, just fine, just, just fine. fine. Yeah. Hey, bud, we're on. We're on the internet. Yep. Yippers, welcome to Critters in Taiwan, a D&D podcast about Critical Rule, where a bunch of nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons & Dragons. I am Ben in Kaohsiung. I am Tim in Taichung. <clears throat> and we're Critters in Taiwan. Did I tell you that I was maybe going to be making a big move, maybe to Kaohsiung or you did. another country? Did I mention you that? You did. You told, uh, me, you told me a couple of weeks back, yeah. Yeah, it'd be kind of strange. Yeah. Be like, I'm in, also in Kaohsiung. Mm. <laughs> it's like, why don't we just go to the same house? Critters in Critters in Kaohsiung. Yeah. Oh Critters no, we changed the change the whole name of the show. The the C I G K C I K Kick oh. Sick Sick. God, that's <laughs> not bad, dude. Not bad. It's <laughs> not bad. It's better than Ick. Like in in Critters Kaohsiung. Yeah. Nope. Hey Tim, tonight <laughs> we're talking about episode number fifty six. By goat or by boat? By goat or by boat? Yay. On the nose and a, a, an appropriate name for about listen, how much happened in the episode. Not a ton happened. No, but it was listen, very man, entertaining, very, very giggly. There, there, there was a point in this episode when I was crying. I could not see the screen. I was laughing so hard. Tears, yeah. tears were rolling down my face. I remember laughing a ton, but we wow. Like, what viewers probably well, if you're keeping up with the show, you do know that we did take a we didn't record last week for yeah, whatever it's reason. A, yeah, so we're doing Technical it this week instead. So now I haven't seen the show in a week. You know, so it's not super <laughs> fresh in my mind, except for these little points that I've written down. Yeah, but I do remember laughing my dicks off. Man, I had a good time. I had a good time with this episode. Again, yeah, like you said, not a whole lot of uh, craziness or madness, but there was some craziness and some madness. Yeah, and some <laughs> some reveals, kind of a little bit, or potential reveals. Couple of them. Should we should we talk about them? Yeah, maybe we should. Let's and, just uh, get into it. All right, cool. Yeah, last time we recorded, we had some technical difficulties. First time Ben was hooking up over there. Mm. Now I have to change some things because this fucking guy... No, it's not his fault. It's completely OBS. I got to change some things. We still have a few technical difficulties. Well, However, there may be some glitches. Ben, you can see a lot more of Ben and listen to that voice of his. It's, it's sweet, sultry, dulcet tone. Closer for that. You need to get closer for that. It's some sweet, sexy, dulcet tones. <laughs> Levels are good. Do that anytime. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Shall we get into some rolly? Yeah, I suppose. You got a busy night, yeah? So this I might do. be a short one, I got some. I got some things to do. All right. Um, life Life is uh, throwing curveballs left, right, and center. Yeah. Things are coming cur- down how, for me right now. So that's how curveball so. works. Curveballs I think it's work. a screwball, man. Knuckleball. You ever, you ever seen somebody throw a knuckleball? They're wild. I've seen some slow mo. Yeah. Yeah. It's I wild. mean, I, and actually in person where someone's thrown one at you when you're oh, at no, the batter no. box. Yeah, it's wild. Not a fast one, but like a like a, the knuckleballs aren't fast. They're slow. Yeah. But they move. It's weird. It okay. Just... Hey, I got a I got a duo decahedral dice thing. Uh, do do duo duata nectomy. Yep. It on the That's pad. Ready. Ooh, I got me a Rollies. 17, bro. Dude, natural really? 20. Yep, and it's facing me this time. Hey. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up. Wait, there it is. Nope, that's, there we go. There it is. I, uh, yeah, I have one of those, too. I rolled a natural 20, and that's... That's um. That's, that's a good 20. You stole my 17. A, well done. Yeah, hey, hey. I like hey, that hey, hell. Hey, hey. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm just going to... I'm going to start this all up with the very first thing and the funniest thing that I've ever seen on Critical Role, and I use that. I'm, I'm using that. This is... Okay, that's not a, the funniest. That's a big statement. <laughs> not the funniest thing I've ever seen on D, on Critical Role. The most D and D Critical Role has ever been, and this was at the one hour forty minute and fifty six second mark on timestamp. Gif. 
on the Twitch stream when Abria says, I killed Jerry immediately. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone was like, ha, 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 that's really funny. And it's like, no. Didn't Matt no, no, no. go, do you really? Yeah, do you really? And she, he, she's like, yeah, I do. Like instantly. <laughs> and I was, the, the aftermath of this decision were, had me, this was the moment when I was in tears. Because I was like, this is peak D&D. This is exactly what happens in every D&D game at some point or another where they just outright start murdering um, <laughs> NPCs or mounts or whatever it may be like savages where there is zero ethics or morals that come into play. It's just savagery. And I, I was sort of watching this. Listen, man, when I went back and watched this the second time, I started paying a little bit more attention. Chat as we for do. a solid 20 minutes, half an hour was traumatized. There were people <laughs> going, but, but why? Like, why are you doing this? Why? Why? That was unnecessary. You didn't need to do that. So unnecessary. People were still commenting 20 minutes later about a fucking imaginary goat. <laughs> I, I'm just like, what is... You, you guys, this, this shit isn't real. Like, none of it is real. It's an imagination game. But it's even less real because it's a fucking imaginary goat that didn't exist and wasn't really a thing at all. Even, even Laura played Imogen as a little bit... Um, uh, like uh, genuinely, genuinely upset oh, okay. about this decision, where she was like, "There." If you go back and watch the, these parts, like afterwards, into the combat with the bog wretch that they go and they fight later on, Laura is still genuinely upset about things, and I, <laughs> I think she leaned at that point. She started leaning into the role playing of being pissed off at at um, Deanna. Uh -huh. And it was more about like, holy fuck, like when they were on, when she gets on the boat, she's like, I stay on the other side of the boat, the raft. Let's face it, it was a raft. I did not notice that. She was genuinely pulling like a little bit of a fuck this gnome. I want nothing to do with her. Um, so there was, there was a little bit of that, but I, I, I put that down as like proper role playing. Uh, but the other stuff with the, with chat and, and, uh, and even on Reddit uh, and the, and the other street, the other social media, Facebooks and things that I read, people were, not happy with this decision, and oh. that makes me happy. I was completely happy with it. Yeah, you know, like I, I, I had to rewind it because I was like, "Where did this dead goat come from?" Yeah, you know, and I completely missed the the whole thing. I mean, Matt nearly and did then, too. He's like, "Do you really?" Like, yeah, usually he doesn't ask. Do Do you really? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, well, no, you said it, so we're gonna yeah. do this. Unless and, and it was I think, a joke, right? Unless it's a joke, is because Sam like does that shit, and yeah. Liam does that, and Travis does it, and a bunch of them they do that like off, you know. Yeah. Tongue in cheek I sort of thing. Chat, I do this, say. yeah. Ha ha ha. Okay, no, no, really. But but Abrio's like, no, no, no. I actually immediately kill Jerry, and then they just start describe. It got weird, right? When they start describing like the, the where they're digging in, they're like Chetney gets harvesting. involved in it, and they're harvesting. They're like covered in blood everywhere, and it's like, yeah, man, this is wild. But then it leads into some really fun stuff where. Fern starts explaining to the other goats about what happened to Jerry. He exploded. Like, they, <laughs> yep, yep. They, they, like, Matt says that. What happened to That's Jerry? Right. He, he exploded. And Fern's like, yeah, yeah, goats sometimes do that. That sometimes happens. Yeah. Is that going to happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> Matt broke a couple of times uh, during that whole little scene. 100%. There. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then, they, and then they're like, yeah, you guys stay here and eat Jerry. Like, just. And they're like, okay. <laughs> just, you know, guys, they're guys, divorced. you got to stay here and eat Jerry. Wow. <laughs> just, but anyway, back to my original thing about this is the most D&D &D critical, critical role has ever been. It just is. Plain and simple. Fight me. Come at me. <laughs> 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 Prove me wrong. There has been no other, there has been nothing more D&D &D than that moment. When, or not that moment, but the that moment and what happens afterwards because of that. It's just... In my opinion, perfect. I guess it goes on for a long time. And when you when you say it, uh, most D and D, I guess are you saying that most tables have a situation like this happen? Yes, and there and it's like it's it most D and D in that in many ways, but primarily because it is something that is so ridiculous that it just is accepted at the table as a thing. Like there's no, I mean, Imogen sort of fighting it or whatever, but everybody just sort of been like, yeah, okay, this is just what happens. It is. That's what happens at a D and D table is just, you do this insanely ridiculous thing for no reason. 
and and everybody just rolls with it. That's D and D. I thought you were gonna say something, you know, like kind of more on the on the geeky scale. It's like, oh, this, you know, there's there's it was a very smart move as long as you understand what's going on. They it was unnecessary. It was completely unnecessary. I mean. They they could have just left all the goats like like would they like uh, I believe Vox Machina did it multiple occasions with their horses they just fed them they just left them alone and harpies came and ate them yeah. and shit like that uh, uh, mighty nine moorbounders and a bunch of other well, the moorbounders were pretty capable but they just abandoned them yeah. um, was that they, Vox they, Machina with the water closet and yeah it that started off that was that that you know carried on all the way through this stuff and yeah. they carried on through campaign two and then Shitter, i don't remember yeah w wc john loaf uh there's a whole loaf. bunch of names yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> Stupid. crapper what else was there oh um, i guess i'll come back with that with the um, um matt is quite the goat at playing goats. Ooh, you know, he's good. He's, he's a got good a goat. great goat. You know, yep. we've seen it before. You know, with all the other goats in the past, mm-hmm. and then this time he got to actually talk as one. And uh, it's it's not a Didn't. big counterpoint, but I love how much Ashley loves it. Every moment yep. he he's just she said it before. Yep. Like it's my favorite thing that Matthew Donnie. Does. What did what did what did she call what did she call her goats? Donnie. Donnie she called boy. her goat Donnie boy. That's right, yep. Donnie boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, which turned into. Drinking goat milk. Right. Wait, didn't you say it was Donnie Boy? <laughs> <laughs> it was a very giggleful episode. That it one. was. It was. Listen, man, they, <clears throat> you go back to when they were in, when they first get to Uthadurn, or this table gets to Uthadurn in campaign two, and Ford scares the goat and then rolls like yeah. a natural 20 on his uh, intimidation. No, it, it, bra- it busts out. It doesn't faint. Oh, that's right. It doesn't it do breaks, the thing. Right. It breaks out, and then the other ones all follow it, and he releases all the goats, right? And yeah, it's mm, good times. I'm like, man, how much. I. They've talked about it before, but like how much Matthew in particular must just practice these different things, different creatures. Sure. You know, he's probably sure. looking up YouTube you tutorials all the time. Like, how do you do a goat? The, 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 it's, it's an amazing thing too, because I think he says three times they're riding goats. They're riding goats. Right. Yeah. They're I mean, riding I picked up goats. on this and I'm it's, not a player. How, how, how would you possibly think that these are like normal sized goats for a, a, a like a, yeah, that really surprised me when they it were sitting there like, I didn't very realize how weird. big they were. You, like, as soon as, listen, like, I mean, uh, hindsight is everything, right? But as soon as they started saying the raft size, like, how big of a raft are you going to make? Yeah. And then Matt kills them or nukes them with this, with this, I'm not going to, it's it, it, how big you make it changes the DC and I'm not going to tell you that. And they immediately <laughs> yeah. go, oh, okay, well, then we make it 10 by 10. Okay, fine. Ten by, and I'm like, what are you talking about? So ten gonna, by ten? How do you even fit six of you on a ten by ten raft? Have you not seen what ten by ten is? Like, I just started looking around in my living room. Characters. I'm like, it's it's nothing. It's yep. so small. Let alone six goats, like riding goats. It's like, what? What are you guys? Well, kill Jerry. That'll solve yeah. something, right? Now it's only five. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I think Matthew came clean later. He was like. I'm glad. I mean, you know, he was just. I'm glad. I don't think he cares mm-hmm. which decision they make. No. But I think he said nope. later. It's been a little hazy. It's been a week. Then he was like, "If you had taken those goats on, this would have been a fucking disaster." Yes. Yeah. He does say that later on. He's like, I "Yeah, if you had taken fucking or not." He's right? like, it, "You would have found out very quickly if goats float." Yeah. <laughs> like that was that was the whole thing, right? Like, Do goats float? And Sam looks it up. Mm, goats are buoyant. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't he start googling it? You yeah. started googling it. Yeah. Then, it's wasn't hilarious. it Matthew that also said like dead or alive? Yeah. You know? he's like, oh, it's a good question. I'll look that up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I. Listen, I, I grew up in a farm, right? Like up way up north in Ontario. I know goats can swim. Of course they can swim. Well, swim pretty much okay. every pretty much every knowledge. farm. There's not many farm animals that can't. Don't, Pigs I'm swim. Gonna, yeah. Dogs swim. Cats can swim. As far as that goes, all birds can swim. Yeah. Um, I'm not I've a seen, city boy by any means, but a goat floating? I, I yeah, didn't know. Sure. They just they're, they're mammals. They all float. I mean, like I've seen chickens swimming around at Lotus Pond here in Kaohsiung. So chickens. there's a yeah, there's a weird little island out in the middle of the a man-made island. It's a man-made pond. It's a man-made island. But there's chickens on that island, and every once in a while they swim across to the mainland. Huh. It's yeah. It's, you see them. You're like, there's a chicken swimming by. All right, good for them. 
Yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple I mean, of chickens in weird places when I came down. They're to not the really swimming. They're more just like floating and paddling. I guess yeah. you, you say a duck is swimming on the water. It's not really swimming. It's just sort of floating and paddling, yeah. right? I mean, they're buoyant as fuck. They have yeah. hollow bones. Right. There's no way they're going to sink. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, I think Page. I sent you a picture of a chicken in a weird place once when I was down there. It was like, there's a fucking chicken here. <laughs> yeah, things get weird. So in my new apartment, I'm in, the, I'm in the heart of the fucking city now. Like, I've moved down into the very middle of the city. And there is a, there is a dude across the street from me who has quite a large place. He has a large enough place that he has a front yard, like a very big front wow, yard. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's quite pretty. Oh, you sent me, um, you showed me a picture. Yeah. Yeah. And the it's other day I was, I was sitting on my balcony and I was just sort of like, yeah, this, this is kind of nice. And I looked down, and I'm like, what? There's a, a, a chicken walks across his, his lawn. And I'm like, I you okay. Say the street. No, like a chicken walks across <laughs> his lawn. I'm like, right. Of course he has chickens on his lawn. Like, of course well, he I was going to wait for a punchline. You know? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Nope. Oh, so you're in the rich neighborhood now. Oh, they, got, they got some chickens over here. Some rich chickens. Rich chickens. Hey, should we roll again? Yeah, let's push okay. on forward. Nobody oh. noticed the camera <laughs> differences between the scene changes. Four. Four. Oh, rollies. I'm going to use the other dice for this. Uh -oh. Or the other uh -oh. die. Oh, boy. 18. Nine, nine. 19. Fucking hell, you <laughs> fucking robbing uh, son of a bitch. Woo! Come okay. On. 17 and get... 18, and I'm losing? Yeah, it's man. bound to happen. Yeah, I think man. I got 100% it last happens. time, didn't I? Okay, I, this, is, this, isn't a, this isn't really a, a point, but I would like to talk about it a little bit. Um, it's a point for me. Uh, we, had, we had FCGs. Like, it's more of a discussion point for, I think, you and I. Um, we, had, we had FCGs first. Oh, sorry. Can I can I just say one more thing about the goats before I get into this point because I just it just popped into my head. You're a how half the fuck share is owner man? Go do what you want. How the fuck is FCG riding a goat? Oh fuck! You're right. Like no I, I wrote that, that down. And I was like nobody commented on that at all. I'm like wait a minute. How is a robot with a wheel riding a goat? And there was a lot of discussion about that wheel and potential legs. Right. I'm surprised they didn't figure it out. Anyway, neither here nor there. That's not my point. I think there was too much shit going on. There was too I, much other shit that was hilarious at the time. You know, it doesn't like, matter. Like, I mean, they dead. can the goats are they can rectify them. it by just by doing with the same thing they did with the like just have it as a chariot. Like he'll just be harnessed to the back of the goat and ride yeah. along the back of the goat with whatever. It's all good. Or when they were racing, just turn him into one of the mm -hmm. wheels like you know just <laughs> yeah. attach him to one of the goat legs and just have his dumbest, wheel down there <laughs> dumbest fucking thing ever um Good i want to talk I about i didn't occur to me at all i want to talk about fcg's first contact with divinity okay um he's been he's Thanks, been buddy oh uh, sorry dude um <laughs> i'll just yes he, and with it unless it gets covered for, no no i i just want to talk about it because i think it was this is a <laughs> that was my most a, focused point in the in the episode right this sorry is a character it's all good. This is a character who's like, you know, a two year backstory. Everything after that is sort of blank, but it's like a 5,000 year backstory. It's, you know, it's really long. And he's, they, they are finally starting to figure out uh, that where this magic is coming from, from this, this, uh, the change bringer. I mean, is that where the magic, I'm curious about all this stuff that's going on. Like, just because, so at the beginning of this character's arc, does the change bringer know about this robot? And if so, has is that where the magic is coming from? Is it all fate that they right. that destiny that they've that they've discovered the change bringer and now when they cast commune, they actually commune with a god? Or is it more fluid? Is it a more fluid situation where they can just sort of, I'm going to be going after the change bringer this month, and I'm going to drop that, and I'm going to go after the light bringer, Sunny D, um, after that, and then they cast commune, and then they commune with the light bringer? Like, is that the, like the Dawn Father? Is that, is that the... I mean, is what? How does that work? You know, this is this is my sort of discussion point. What what is going on here, in your opinion? Well, has anybody uh, changed gods and other situations that you've either seen or been a part of? Sure, Vox Machina with one, and now they commune oh. with another. Uh, well, uh, the spell still exists, right? Just a different patron. In when those you when Ford multiclassed in from Warlock into Paladin, right. you could make the argument that Ukatoa was his 
it's not a god it's a patron it, it, mechanically a it's a it's a well it's a patron it's like you think about jester with the with, traveler yeah. right that's an archfey not a you god only gods can give you powers N yeah the the so like ukatoa was not a not even really a demigod it's this was a servant of the chained oblivion right <clears throat> so er was it the chained oblivion i think so yeah i, I mean it I was forget yeah there there it was it there's dune or was it uh somebody what there was whatever one that it may be. was made up that oban was trying to follow oh, but it just ended up being fake or just like an avatar of the other one or something like that right something that was the chain there. of that was that was there is that was the chain of oblivion the angel of irons <laughs> and those are the same were thing. there is yeah Dune were okay okay and i and i believe ukatoa was also ukatoa. part of the chain of oblivion i can't remember exactly but too many things to keep track of what but you it? can make you can make the argument that that's not a god too but they do derive magic from it, and then the traveler not being a god, she's a jester was always deriving was get it was pulling divinity from an archfey. Mm -hmm. So you can you, it's pretty loosey goosey, right? You you think about like Vax in the first campaign with the matron, um, he's he's basically godless through. You know, twelve le level level ten eleven I forget when he finally picks up the the he multiclasses into a. a where what does he multiclass into a paladin? Uh, no, paladin, yeah. <clears throat> does he? Does Vax is Vax a? Does he do three? Because he picks up a level in Druid at the he's end, right? Druid so he at can, twenty, yeah. Yeah, so he's. I forget. It's been so long. Gotta be uh, paladin, but anyway, right? Maybe he's, he's the new champion. You'd think so. Could be. Could be cleric too, though, because you could still maybe. Hard to hard to say. Clerics could be champions too. Hmm. What was what was um he never had oh, what was uh what, what's the, or anything like that or who like, was uh, who was the first champion the one that they meet in Pervon. calamity Pervon, right I he's you forget uh <laughs> he so he was he a paladin or was he a he was a ranger wasn't he yeah he was like level eight so we couldn't really see a whole lot of those and yeah. we didn't see any battle or anything so no nothing so he was he was the champion as a ranger maybe he multi-classed into paladin as well mechanically i'm not sure it's anyway, true because he was it's just a it's just an interesting point like i wonder he was a ranger right because he had the dog as well uh, yeah he's the, he the, the companion the companion uh Gro the dog that Grog finds in the necklace. Yep, they sent him out to the woods around. Oh man, long time ago. Griff, Ugh. it's right there. It's right there, man. Yep. I got a phone. I could look at it, but I'm not going to bother. They're anyway, gonna that's pop my. In or it's going to go away. It's one of the. That's two. my conversation point. Like I'm really curious about how this divinity works that FCG even gets a hold of, and and like the we. Especially in this situation where she communicates to him that the gods are present but distant. Mm -hmm. They're not really there. So even more so. Stop it, man. Uh, <laughs> even more so. How are they getting? Hey. hey. No, keep talking. I'm joking. Um, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking. What about what about D. Devexian? You know? Right. Like, where's sure. those, where are those powers coming from? What about Frida? Yep. Where are those powers coming right. from? A hundred percent. Where are they? Where is all this coming like, from? Are all Aormatons somehow attached to some kind of a god, or is it I all was, arcane from back in the day? Sure, that was that was what I was always assuming, right? And they even talk a bit about that in Calamity, with the with the actual like how they um, are infused. Like, what was his name? What was the what was uh, the 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 character in Calamity? Uh, I don't even remember the actor's name now. Man. God damn it! Where are my notes when I need them? But he was the he was the sort of the master craftsman. He was the one the guild master in charge of the, um, like in charge of keeping all of these Aomertons and 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 putting them all together and sending them out and creating the the, the where they right. go and their their. God, I things. forgot how good those ones are. I gotta watch those. Where ones. where does that magic come from? It's not divine. So that was always what I thought when we would when we first saw FCG that this is like oh this is an Aormaton that is uh, or a, a robot or a, a something that is that is coming from uh, just arcane infused the arcane core that's at the heart of it yeah. is providing the power. But now we're finding that like is is Matt sort of shifting gears? Was this always the way it was? Were the 
were these floating cities completely wrong about where this magic came from? Was it always divine? Maybe the change bringer infused them all purposefully to or bring maybe, change in the calamity? Maybe all the gods had a piece of it. <laughs> and they were all just like, Oh, you wanna make you wanna make arcane cores? Guess what? They've also got a piece of divinity, but shh. Right. We'll never tell. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, would, it, would arcane arts diminish over time? You know, like it seems like divinity would not, right? But if you create something, right? That's the whole thing about arcane, right? Well, it's like they mm-hmm. they model magic after how the gods give it to some people. No, the, that, the do I got they, it wrong? Are the all the as far as Matt has explained? Because again, this is all homebrew. It's Exandria that provides it, and that's what the ley lines are all about. Exandria itself provides the magic because the ley lines are infused with magic and they are the things that provide the exandria itself the 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 planet the the world the flat disc that it is disc um it it is yeah it is infused with magic and that's where the arcane nature of things comes from am i how that works on other planes, I don't know, but sure. Maybe I'm confusing my games because I have one on my computer that I think that I was just referencing to where they decided to try to do it without the help of gods because it's like, ah, we don't need you. It's like, you're there, but we don't need you. We'll do it Well, that's ourselves. sort of what the, that's what the floating cities were all about. They okay. wanted to, they, the floating mm-hmm. cities were all about lack of divinity and that was the whole thing with the paladin, right? Uh, Ar- Arcter- no, what was his name? Archaeopteryx. Ar- Arcteryx. The 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 paladin that that was the he his um his divinity or his powers came from the people, right? The people of of uh, oh. the city gave him his powers, his paladin powers, the, his their belief in him. It was like a reverse sort of god divinity kind of a thing. That was kind of a theme, wasn't it? Where it's like, a little bit. you know, it's like the gods need us. Like yep. the more followers they have, the more powerful the god is. Isn't, Absolutely. That, the, isn't that the whole theme behind the whole, cal- uh, not calamity, um, solstice? Like, uh, like we don't need yeah. you gods, so we're going to cut it off here. And somehow the solstice has some, you know, is we, weak the, divinity ga- divine the, gates or something. The Applebee soul cycle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the... The I think no, that I think, broke Matt once too, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Totally <laughs> did. He 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 blue screened on it. Yeah. Um I I think like I think what the what Ludinus has sort of done and what what um whatever what Abria's character was in Calamity, what they wanted to do with these solstices is harness Exandria's massive amount of power and do something godlike with it. Um there was sort of an there was what was it, the king in this is in episode fifty-five, right? The king sort of says to them that the the, the king of Uthodurn says to them that the uh, the fall of Malayasmir probably happened on a solstice, on an apple uh, an apogee solstice as well. So if these events are this big, then yeah, sure, why not? They you can do things that are godlike. God, there's got to be so much shit happening right now. Yeah. In all all over the fucking well, place. If there is a campaign for, um, it'll be it'll be interesting to see where they go with it because they've kind of like they go back to the beginning or they kind of explain stuff or does it all get? Uh, do we have a calamity 2.0 or do we? You know who knows, right? We've talked about this several times. So um, as this as the players are figuring out more and more and more of Matt's creation of this world. Um, yeah, what do they? What do? Where do they go from here? I know. I mean, if what you are predicting is correct, he's gonna fucking destroy this place. Yeah, that's, I still, still believe that. Re- still fully believe written, that. Characters are there, you know. Like, yeah, make yep. your own thing. You can use yep. the world. Cool, but I'm gonna destroy it, just like Iman did yep. first. You know, hundred percent. Like you yep. said, yeah. <clears throat> that's that's my belief anyway. I don't know, man. With the it's interesting when you say like with the change bringer and perhaps fate, you know, because I mean, mm-hmm. is the change bringer really about fate? I mean, you know, they're about like travel and, you know, not really it's, chaos, it's, but it's really about the change bringer is all about like, remember the temple was an open temple with, with doors pointing off in all directions. Okay. It's sort of about the change bringer is about choosing your own path yeah. kind of thing. Like just cha- the path, the road is changed. So always take the path, always take the road. 
It was pretty sick. The uh, the moment that the uh, yeah coin came out of his che- uh, their chest yeah, was, and yeah. I was like, ooh, yeah, nice work, Matthew. Yeah, I wonder. Nice. I wonder. He he may have had those in his pocket already. I'm I'm assuming he did, but yeah, it was wonderful. What a wonder! And I love that he said he changed the lights. Change the the set, changed color from like a that whatever color it was normal color white color to like purple blues flickering moving around, hella cool, hella cool. Yeah, <clears throat> it was pretty sick. And uh, I mean, you called it like you'd said earlier. Uh, Matt's description of the change bringers uh, uh, response to FCG, it's like mm-hmm. present but distant. Yep. You know, like you 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 called it before the the, the previous episode. Yeah. Like well, there's a distracted with something right now, you know, but you right. still, and, it's like, just like also we said, like with Lacey, you know, like mm-hmm. the place is on fire. What do we do? You mm-hmm. know? And she's like, dude, what's going on? She's like, I, I still yep. love you. Don't worry. Just <laughs> hold on. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's the, like, all right. Mm-hmm. All good. I'm out. Um, I, I like he, Matt asks Sam to roll, make a perception check. Right. And he rolls pretty poorly. And he's like, yeah, you notice some other shapes where you're not sure. Love to know what that perception check would have been if it had been higher, what he would have seen Ooh, other. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Uh, he said, you notice other shapes. And I'm like, instantly, I'm like, it's gods. They're, they're all hanging out with her. Hmm. They're all stacking up sandbags, waiting for their, they're piling up sandbags, waiting for something bad to happen. That's my theory. Anyway, I think that's what's going on. Just all manning up the fort. Yep. To <laughs> yeah. Would a uh, hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh oh. The all right. App- Appleby soul break cycle. Yep. Um. Weakens the gates. We so think. something could happen. Sure. Allegedly, right? Yeah. Yep. And concentrates, concentrates, and focuses all of the power of Alexandria in nexus points. And then also, I mean, the divine gate was made to. Okay. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. is there any discrimination between which gods they're like saying fuck off to? Your guess is as good as mine. Because we got Therese doing over there, you know. We got yep. fucking can we say Sarah Asmodi- still? The the Yeah, well whatever. Da- He's but the There's the there's there's as As there's Asmodeus, there's uh there's Theras Dune with the Chained Oblivion who is pure chaos. There is um Asmodeus is the god of the uh Hades, I believe, hells. I'm not sure who's the god of the abyss. I forget. There's, but there's all in the uh, the um, explorer's guide to uh, Wild Mount and the other ones, Taldore, the Taldore Reborn, and I think there's a new book, isn't there? Alexandria book coming out. I forget. They're always pumping out new books. Yeah, um, <clears throat> they they talk. They they give a list, a rundown of all the gods and where they are and who they are and what they, who their worshippers are and blah 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 blah. The campaign setting is. Mm. Yeah. What did they what did they change Saren Ray's name to? Uh the for the animated shit. Mother Light? Everlight. Everlight. Yep. That's the Everlight. Oh, but so I but that was just she again must be there too, right? Sure. Must be. I think that the Everlight is more like the Dawn Father. It's not the actual name. Because Paylor is the actual name of the Dawn Father. Right. Uh yeah. nobody the the matron of ravens is I forget they all oh, have gosh. actual names um, but the but they like Paylor is the dawn father Saren Ray is the everlight um, the so yeah I don't know it's maybe the knows? matron of ravens doesn't really have a name because maybe you know, not she's pretty new maybe not maybe she's sure, got well, that the, nickname the, that she showed up with God the God the other gods will definitely know who she is yeah and say, they, who the fuck are you when did you get here yep. yeah don't worry about it. I'll be here for a while. Yeah, well, I'm looking after. I'm looking after death, man. So, so clearly Ben and I are chill. looking for. Uh, we don't fucking know what's going on with FCG and yeah. this divinity going on. No idea. And uh, I do. Also I do really. Aylor and the calamity. I do and really maybe love how schism at some. You know, the schism's way back when the yeah. gods fought, right? And then right, they, right. Fuck. Well, that's, they, yeah, they it's when they games. it's when they when they fought the the Titans to take control of Alexandria. That's what that was, right? Right. Yeah. When the, the Titans, At some point, the, the divine gate was made to protect the followers of the gods. 
something like that. Something like that's that, right? The, that's the, yeah. Yeah. And now that the Divine Gates may have been fucked, so they're stacking up sandbags, being like, I'll mm-hmm. be with you in a second, Lacey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Huh. I do love how after this commune that he has, though, he's like, so definitely what this is telling me is that I saw her way off in the distance, and I mean, impossibly she was right there, far, but couldn't impossibly far, so clearly flat earth. Yeah, flat definitely exterior. no curvature whatsoever. Definitely none. Definitely yep. not a vision. That, no, that if you, Matt, that physical. crushed Matt's soul. That was another soul-crushing moment for Matt. <laughs> there was a lot of that going on. <laughs> yep. With the uh, the tongue, uh, him. Mm-hmm. Was this the episode where he killed Pussy? I mean, you know, the one where he talked about it. Mm, was it? Was it? The or was that the one, one before? That might have been the one before. It's weird when we take a break like this. You know, yeah. a week later, it's hard to remember <laughs> which one is which. Yep. It's like, oh yeah, um, I killed her pussy. It's like, oh my god, Sam. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna uh, come back with this because it's on point here. Sure. Um, why hadn't FCG tried com- uh, commune prior to this? Uh, level spell. Is sort that of what thing. it is? I think so. Fifth okay. level spell. I believe. I don't, know, I don't know when that shit comes in, but uh, now I think, and he had just sort of been waiting. I think nine. I don't. It's a level. It's a level five, which I had level a f- level five spell, which I think is is level nine. I forget. I could look it up, but I believe that's part of it. I also believe the opportunity hadn't come up yet. Yeah. Um. It, and he was just sort of waiting, and Matt was. I think Matt was also waiting, and it was sort of like, yeah, this is the time to do it. So I'll use that fifth slot because he probably only has one fifth per day right now. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, you save that. Usually, you'd, you'd pick a couple of fifth level spells. Uh, I think Greater Restoration is one of them, um, and then a priest. So he's probably picked Greater Restoration and maybe another one or I'm two. Sure, Greater Restoration. Yeah, but um, you, you know, funny little moment, right? With the, with a with a Brio there, where she's like, "Oh wait, we're playing with uh, oh <laughs> we're spell components. That's the game we're playing, are we?" And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, that's the oh okay, it's because uh, it's a hundred gold of diamond dust for that spell." Like, uh huh. Can't, welcome yeah, gotta welcome to the game. Welcome to the game, DM. I think another moment, I believe it was this campaign where Orem fell off the ship and then Imogen just knew how to fly. And I think they yeah. talked about it afterwards. And it's mm-hmm. like, it was really nicely incorporated in there. Yep. And a nice little parallel to the animated series. Yep. When totally. Vax learned that he could fly, right? Or that totally. the, the armor he the was wearing gave him yeah, the wings. Yeah, the wings. That's right. They were, those That's were right. similar in that moment. <clears throat> yeah, it was nice. Cool. Um, Rollies, eh? I guess let's we've got do one it. more left. I do. These are really good talking points. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. I'm going to lose again with a really high number. Ah. Seven. I got an eight. How is this happening? I couldn't tell if you're being Canadian and calling that three, or if we've been here long enough and we know no, that's no, eight. No, no. I, I even said ba. Like, that's, the, that's what oh, I got. Oh, I didn't hear that. Mm. Okay, well, I, I got a good fuck. one. Like, I got uh... this is my basically my last point anyway. Um, the that listen at at three hours another timestamp. Clearly rigged. Timestamp three, gif. Three hours, forty six minutes, fifty seconds. Matt says two words that instantly threw up. Boo, boo, boo for me. Which is the uh, curse geysers? Curse geysers. Ah, remember, I didn't remember catch when it. they're when they're walking around and they just start entering into Malaya's mirror, and um, they he says, and these curse geysers pop out, and then they get hit with magic, and then they get they get all this problem stuff starts happening to them, uh, blah blah blah. As soon as he said it, my my alarm went off. I'm like, wait a minute, this is where the other group is was is or was this is where they are were uh <laughs> you just say r word <laughs> r slash were so they are they either are here right now or they were here before and my new theory is i wrote this down in big block letters aol were teleported to malaya's mirror and they're going to meet in the city with guests i think there are guests there must be. I mean, come on. It, I'm really, really, I'm, really, I'm really, 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 really hoping it's BLM and Co. Well, that's what I want to see. That'd be I, so sick. I want to see Brennan. I want to see anybody else. I don't even care who it is. I just want to see a bunch of other cool people play again. 
Um, Wait, play more because there's there's Chet, Fern, Imogen, Imogen FCG, and FCG. And on the yep. other side, we've got Orem, Lana, AOL, and Ashton. Just the three. Yep. So there yep. could be three guests on this. You know, it could be. Very much could be keep it even numbers, but I'd like to see a table of five instead of six. That'd be more fun, I think. Yeah, it'd be a little bit change. A nice little change. Instead of bringing three guests in, bring two in. Mm -hmm. Bring um, bring BLM and somebody else from D twenty or his wife played at a at one of the tables. Right, it was uh, at at a D twenty table, I think. Yeah, they're and excellent, excellent. I'd love to see it. Hundred percent. I mean, I'm, so that's I've already right. got my hopes up for it. <clears throat> that's my new theory, man, is that they that they are uh, these cursed geysers because they talked about this again way back in episode like 50, 50 maybe, 49. I don't even remember when it was. Okay. That they talked about like you wake up and you're, psh, you feel these little geysers. Yeah, psh, 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 and we were thinking psh, geothermic barren, activity. Psh, yeah, with, I was thinking like. Um, I mean, I was. Where, where Bo is from, right? The Camorta. Yeah. We're thinking about Camorda. We're thinking about like places like that or whatever. My new theory is that they were they got teleported straight to Malaysmere, and we're gonna jump into. They've been chilling at Malaysmere for a couple of weeks. I don't know. Okay. Now I have a question about that because yeah, Go. I thought the geysers were. I don't know if Matthew described the geysers for the other group very much, or if it was just you. Mm. You see these things spouting out. But also these curse geysers that I didn't catch him saying curse geyser. I only mm-hmm. heard geyser and curse separately. Mm-hmm. Were was that a result of uh, somebody roll a d twenty and then like a five and then an eight or you know something yeah, like that? Yeah, Chetney rolled a because he's been here before, so he rolled to see if he was familiar with the landscape and he rolled very poorly and that's why the curse geysers smashed into them. Okay. And Matt, okay. Matt was like, you re, you've, re, you've encountered these things before. Unfortunately, you've forgotten. And they get splattered by them. So yeah. that was the, that's where that came from, I okay. think, if I remember right. Yeah, I think you're right, because when they got into the forest, mm-hmm. did they do one of those things, like somebody roll a 20? Did they have yeah, like when they Yeah, when they got it? in... When they got when they landed off the raft and they start walking in because they get they see the tower, uh, uh, tower and yeah. they're looking for they're tr- they're trying to get into uh, the next Frida Kata, the next right? yeah Frida Kata with a really high perception roll. Um, they see they're trying to head for the Guild Hollow Tower, which is on the northwest side of the city, mm-hmm. uh, which is I think Matt sort of said is on the other side, so they're gonna have to travel through, through a little which bit. Which is great because that creature, of course it is right there in the middle of the, the city. That's so the dry, video the dry, gamey, this thing. The Dryder Elk, yeah, the Dryder Elk. Oh, the, the <laughs> way he described it, I don't know if it's a real creature. Ooh, oh no, hundred percent, that's homebrew. Like that's this whole this cursed so sick. forest is gonna be filled with nightmares like that right i mean this thing's got to be avoided this is one of those things like in a, the video games that i've Oof. played where it's like if you get caught by this thing the only thing you can do is run away it and try to hide reminded again reminded me because it was only going on sound right yep it's gonna yeah. be a uh, thing bro he 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 said something and i don't think they picked up on it but that the antlers had glints on oh, the yeah, end yeah. of them and That's i'm right. like well those are eyes clearly those are eyes at the end right, of the featureless face right right, yeah. right. Sick, yep. and there's arms totally that sick. drag behind it until they grab a corner, dude. Oof. The the imagery in my head, I just I oh, yeah, saw it's... the picture of it. You know? Yes, what did so I? Cool. It reminded me very much of when they were in the the ruins of Aeor, and they get into with that giant baby faced thing. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. That monstrosity. Oh, man, did I remember telling you, but I couldn't find it anymore. Somebody did like an animation of it but it looked yeah. like it was real to remember yep. that but i couldn't yep. find it anymore that's out there somewhere man if i've you, seen if it. anybody's listening can find that or if you know where it is the internet's way better at this shit than i am <laughs> please i want to see that because it's terrifying it's, yeah, it's terrifying super when horrifying you see the little, like viper fish fucking yep. thing in the front yep. and then you hear the baby sounds that matthew was making and they mm-hmm. kind of mixed it somehow it was so cool man yippers yeah um uh fuck about the beast Anything that freaks uh, uh, Travis out, I I just, is, I just make it even more uh-huh. horrific in my brain, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> totally. Oh no, it was a good one, man. It was a real good one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um. Me too. I'm looking forward to the next one because I want to see how they interact or somehow try not to interact with this. It's gonna be thing. It's amazing. Terrifying. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm gonna come back with my last one here. Okay. Um, 
Something that I don't remember, maybe it's a simple answer. Did we get the details about the scrap between uh, Chet when he ran off to become a werewolf and Frida? I don't mm. remember details from this. No, they talk, FCG and him talk a little bit about it, and they sort of, and Matt is poker-faced about it the whole through the whole thing. <clears throat> they talked a little bit about it. I got some notes written down about it. It was somewhere in the uh, thing I've got. Um yeah, it's in the it's in the it's when they sleep in the after after FCG communes. Um, he after goes that? They, or before it maybe. I thought I wrote it down, but I don't think I did. It really feels like it's before it. Even they like do, the, an episode yeah. prior. No, no, no. It was definitely this one. Um, they talk. They definitely talked about it. I remember it clearly. Uh, they talk and they because Matt. Well, I know they talk about it. Yeah. But, but as far as the initial thing, it was like, no. did, did they even roll initiative? I don't remember. They must Wait, have. You mean for the fight? The actual the interaction. Yeah, oh yeah, they did. They rolled initiative, yeah. The, and they, they they played out a battle, yes. right? Yes, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah, okay. that was like three, ep and, three, four episodes ago. <clears throat> and the reason I bring that up is because um, I feel like I would have remembered a bite, but I don't remember a Oh yeah, bite no, he happened. definitely bit him. Yeah, he definitely bit. Okay, okay. And And because Matt even says, or Travis is even like, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's not blood. So I would feel very weird about the taste. It doesn't taste like blood. Right. And Travis goes through this whole inner monologue of the were of the werewolf that he's trying to figure things out, and he's like, "Yeah, this is weird. This isn't right. I don't taste this the right way." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, I just felt a little weird when uh, I want to say Christian was bringing up, you know, the whole mm -hmm. idea of maybe turning into a werewolf bot, and I'm like, "Come on, man, like, that's, uh, that's a little." I, I, I think it's a little on the preposterous side, and I don't think it works. Yeah. So I think I think Matt has sort of gone, yeah, you got like, these guys got lucky because it was the robe, but they got bit, and not one of you, one of you, yeah. Life, and even then, it's not one hundred percent, right? Uh, it's about Constitution saving throws, mechanically, oh. mechanically. You fail them, you're lycanthrope. And do you know anything about if it does take? what the community uh, the the werewolf community how they find out about it and how nope. they no nope. punish or what the what the whole politics behind that is i think in 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 alexandria in this in this homebrew in this universe canonically most of them go mad and then they get they get they live they end up being hermits and they're on their own uh the community most of them don't make it to the community i think oh, right, that's sort because of you have to how learn this how to works. tame it that's yeah. why i was looking for gurge right yeah okay, right that's right that's right so they just kind of go off to the fuck off to the woods right but you know they're all they're, they're saying like no if you can't infect anybody else because mm -hmm. there's you know it's a little it's a bit of a limit that's sure it's it sure. just seems I, I, it seems like it's not very well defined that nope. limit of like nope. don't infect it's, anybody else or else you know i think like, it's sort of on purpose that because they don't want the matt doesn't want to let secrets out of the bag for people that aren't in the know so he's told, probably told Chetney or Travis a fair bit about it, and then Chetney lets it out in dribs and drabs as he feels like. A fair bit about it? Nice one. Mm-hmm. See this pun, guy? pun intended. Yeah. This, oh, yeah, I'm pointing right. Dad, dad jokes all day. If I point at you on the screen, I point at you on that screen, too. I'm going to point up to you up there. No, I'm, I'm, that's, fist, way, fist that's way off. That's way off. Fist bump. Oh, God. Oh, are, so, are, we do, so are you down? Are you down there? You done? You done? Oh yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> hey, that's my last one, dude. I'm I'm done as well, man. I'm and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since noon today, so I gotta I gotta get some food in me. Cool. Well, then let's call it then. Um, yeah. <clears throat> a fantastic episode. That one and this one, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, like always, you can find him on Instagram at Ben Greenspoon. That's me. You can find all me day. on Instagram at Drama Tucker. The album's That's coming him. out nice. All day. Mix two is coming back real soon. We're cool. Stoked. We got the song order awesome. and we got some mastering. Ooh. <laughs> so stoked. So follow I'm us. Jealous. Get an, uh, jealous. Updates. I know. I missed the studio already, man. Like just getting in and getting the job yeah, done a, and being. It's a fun. It's a good time. Being it's, the drummers, like the big jobs done first, so you get to watch yep. them get all nervous and shit mm -hmm. after you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but uh, please, if you don't mind, like, subscribe. What's the other one that you do? Like and subscribe. That's it. That's all you do. On comment YouTube. Join. Comment. That's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, There's subscribe, and leave a comment. Going on right now, so mm -hmm. you know we'd like to know what you think. We had a lot of opinions, you know. Hey, opinions. No facts, just opinions. Uh-huh. I mean, that's almost every episode. 
cool. All right, well, hey, dude, if there's nothing else. I'm good to go, bro. All right, uh, don't forget to love each other. And hey. is it finally, oh, yeah, is it finally Friday, right? It's coming do we up. Have a, do we have a tomorrow? We... No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they, we haven't have... said, they haven't said anything about a four-sided dive. It is Wednesday tomorrow. There could be one. The schedule is getting all weird these days. So. I got an email a couple of days from the ago, a couple of days from them, a couple of days ago from them, <laughs> and uh, there was it's no a mention of a four-sided dive at all. So I'm guessing no, but they might surprise us with one. We'll see. I hardly remember the last one. Yeah, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah, geez. Okay. Anyway, is it is it Friday? Been a while. Peace. Been a while. Peace, everybody. <laughs> Woo.